formatting pipeline output so generally for any partial command if we wanted to get the output in a specified format then we could use the following three option which is format dash list format dash table format dash wide and uh, the dash property parameter which is common for all the you know formatting command lights so that filter output to a specified property names so these are the formatting command lights format dash list format dash table format dash wide and format dash custom so format dash custom command let require you know creating the xml configuration you know which is uh, infrequently used in general uh, so each formatting command let accept the dash property parameter so the dash property parameter accept a comma separated list of property name keep in mind that when you specify property name for this parameter those property must have been written by the original command so for example let's see get dash ag user command let so by default get dash ag user command let written only subset of properties so if you want to get all the properties we can specify star and that would display all the ag user properties and we can also particularly specify the required parameter for example get dash ag user i'm just specifying the ag user so by default this get dash ad user will provide a subset of uh, you know parameters uh, so if you want to get all the parameter then you could specify star where it will list all the properties of that ad user and uh, specifically let's say if i want to only get the the city of that user then I could uh, specify city and if I want to get the state I can mention the state in a comma separated format and uh, similarly we can use any of these properties and uh, we can filter that some command lights uh, will have a default properties uh, for example get dash a service so that will have a uh, three default properties which is a uh, status name and uh, display name so by default uh, the output of this get dash service will be displayed in a table format and uh, if you wanted to get that in a another you know different format uh, for example we can use format dash list so that uh, the output of this command uh, would be displayed uh, in a list format and uh, this format dash list will be you know displayed uh, with the six additional properties uh, for example so by default if we type get dash service so this would be you know displayed in a table format and uh, if you wanted to get that output in a, a list format we can use format list so that uh, it would be you know displayed in this way so if you look at the properties for the format list we'll see some additional parameter so by default uh, when it display in the table format you will see only the name display name and the status 
and uh, when we list the output in a format list format so we get some additional parameter okay so the first one format dash list so this format dash list command let format the output as a simple list of properties where each properties appears on the new line so uh, we can also use fl as an alias for the format dash list so we can use format dash list or fl in a short So, for example, if we type get dash process, so this would display the output in a table format. So, if I wanted to list in a format dash list, so I'm just typing fl as an alias. So, this would be displayed in the list format. So next the format dash table. So this format dash table command light output will display as a table. Here uh, each row represent as an object and each column represent as a property. So here uh, we can use auto size to adjust the size and column based on the width of the data the output what we get for the command uh, by default in powershell 5.0 and newer version this will be adjusted automatically but if you are using older version then you need to you know change the size or it would be you know truncate the data so we can also use hide table header and wrap so for format dash table we can use ft as an alias in a short form so we can use either format dash table or ft to get the output in this format so for example to display the name object class and description properties for all the windows uh, server so active directory object we can use uh, this following command so that would uh, to display in a table format so get ad object Going to apply the filter and the properties. So pipe that into format table and the property I want is name object class and description. So I'm just uh, mentioning auto size and the text wrap. Okay, so this is the output for this command. So next format dash wide. So the output of the format dash wide command light is a single property in a single list displayed in multiple column so for example um, if we type uh, gir you know to display all the uh, the files and folders in that location in the command prompt so that is you know kind of example for the format wide so by default format wide display its output in two column so as we have seen in the format table we can also use the auto size option here but uh, we cannot combine auto size and column together so for uh, format dash wide we can use fw as an alias so either we can use fw in a short or we can type format dash y to get the output in the wide format 
so to send that display name property for all the group policy object in the current domain we can use this following command so that would uh, output in a three column so just get dash gpo dash all and fw as an alias for format dash wide so the property that we want to get is display name okay so that's it in this lesson i'll see you in the next